been a great turnout today and I'm, I'm, I'm excited by the, the enthusiasm in the crowd. I just hope that uh, government pay attention, I hope the government listen and uh, I hope that we can, there's still such a lot to do in terms of domestic, certainly domestic energy efficiency yeah. that we, we've not even scratched the surface yet. It's definitely a great opportunity for us to meet and network with people and also find out different design aspects and where, especially where government rules come in and how we can create different designs and create and obviously make an energy saving project in the future. We've had a lot of great conversations with people today already about uh, intertwining different technologies within the renewable sector and I think battery storage complements many of those solar PV, wind, um, technologies like that. So yeah, it's been really fantastic so far. It's something that we've been uh, pushing for a long time, the whole fabric first, and, and unfortunately we seem to be getting sidetracked by uh, smart grids and things that are a little bit more like gadget based, which is good, but ultimately you've still got possibly the leakiest buildings in, in all of the UK, uh, in, all of, in all of Europe, and we need to tackle that first, because otherwise it's a waste. The thing is that we actually, we have now the solutions and the technology to be building way more sustainable, way better quality, far more robust homes than we do, but they don't get out there, right? They're not that, as, as William Gibson said, the future's here, it's just not very well distributed yet. And one of the things around that is that people say, well, it's too expensive, but also it's too difficult. So really the mission, what this is about, what the whole WikiHouse project is about, is solving that problem of too difficult. So we're trying to make it as simple as we possibly can for anybody, any company, to design, manufacture and build very high performance, low energy homes. The future as I see it, it's, it's all about smart grids and domestic energy production, decentralised energy. Um, some very, very interesting things going on today in terms of uh, now that Western Power actually take an interest and they seem to be catching up with, with demand. What's interesting from my perspective is the amount of PV installations that have uh, gone, uh, have taken place in the last few years. So regardless of, of government incentives and tariffs, it seems to be snowballing as well, which is, which is fantastic. On peak, you know, between four and eight is really when we come home from work and that peak demand and a football tournament and the kettle goes on at half time. This is where this solution actually fits that gap. When we get to 12 o'clock at night, when we're all hopefully falling asleep, why don't we charge these batteries off, off grid? We wake up at six, seven o'clock in the morning when that other peak demand comes. And this is where I come back to the battery technology, cycle life. I think at the moment what we're doing is we're working on new systems and new technologies in order to integrate battery storage um, and, and the Sundial system with uh, the, the national network so that communication can be made between us and the national grid so that in times when generation is low there can be signals assimilated from national grid through to thousands of storage products to override their normal function and tell them to export onto the grid that increases generation in a local area means we don't have to turn on another power station yeah the energy perspective is a really really huge part and one of the things that was said earlier today is that one of the problems, one of the many problems with our housing economy in the UK is we keep treat, treating homes just as property assets. Actually, we need to understand that our homes are also infrastructure. In fact, they are the basic infrastructure of our everyday lives. And lower energy homes is not just good for the UK, like it's not just good for our homes, and it's not, not just about climate change. It's fundamentally about the UK having much better infrastructure because if we're spending less money on bills, we're spending more money on everything else, you know, on the stuff that we actually want to be doing. So, um, yeah, we're very grateful for, the, for being part of the, uh, of the Climate Kick Accelerator and we're very um, pleased that there's also that strong focus on sustainability and energy.